What is going on, Mouse Show? This is Tesla Mouse here, bringing you an NU tier watch battle, or rather, NU versus PU um, cross tier watch battle against one of my mods, Kurt Rocks. And this battle took place so long ago, like maybe in January or February, I don't remember the exact uh, month. But he had this bell uh, saved on his um, versus corner, and he just wanted me to upload it. And you know what? I have a lack of um, different tier battles that I've been uploading, so I figured, why not? Um, let's go over the teams real quick. On this team, he has Stella, he has Tangela, he has Emolga, Fairy, Perugly, and Dunsparce. On our team, we have our Raichu, we have our Lumineon, we have our Scyther, our Mega Ono, our Pyroar, and our Piloswine. Our old um, NU team that I recently changed over, so yeah. Uh, not really going to go over too much of the um, uh, problems for each of our teams, but he does have a, two bottles of Rock Stars in the way of um, Dunsparce and Clefairy. We have our Rock Star and Piloswine, but we also want to make sure that if he does have Rock, we only prematurely defog because if he switches into Perugly, which does have access to the ability to fire, we will be screwed because we have to deal with like a very fast um, cat that has a boosted attack set and that's very defined, so that would not be a pretty sight. Um, we do want to get rid of the Eviolites though, off of Clefairy and Kingdom, because with the Eviolites, can be fairly bulky. And Mulga is going to be a problem because he can just pivot into an electrical attack by my right and get a um, motor drive off. And Stalin, well, it could be Scarfed, or it could be like an Intimidate set with Thunder Wave. Yes, Stalin does have access to Thunder Wave, so we want to make sure that we um, figure out a set before we do anything too crazy, you know? But with that being in mind, guys, um, let's get right into the battle and see how Kurt Rocks and I fare against each other in this NURP battle. I also should um, note that it's in his perspective because I didn't save it and he had it on his birth score, so let's get right into the battle, shall we? I'm gonna lay, he's gonna lay off of his stealth, I'm gonna lay off my riot shoot, I'm gonna immediately go for fake out. I'm not gonna go for the uh, volt switch in case his um, <laughs> stealth on his scarf. So do go for the fake out, it does a bit of damage. I'm actually gonna withdraw my riot shoot and go into Lumineon, or Angel Lumineon, because that's my physically defensive wall on this team. If he goes to the fire thing, it doesn't do a whole lot to Lumineon, and my Lumineon is gonna get hit with leftovers. Next up, my opponent is going to withdraw Stellan and go right into Ramen Jr. the Tingla. As I do go for a Toxic, hoping to poison the Tingla that comes in, but that missed pretty much, so yeah, no bueno for me. I'm going to go for the U turn with um, Lumineon here. Get a little bit of damage, but not too much because my Lumineon is not offensively invested and that Evil Light Tingla is pretty powerful. I'm going to go to Am I Buggy with the Scyther? As my opponent does go for Sleep Power, sadly, which will put my Scyther to sleep. I can't really pivot out with U turn. As a result, so I'm going to switch my sector out. I'm going to go into Audino here, which is my cleric of the team. It is also my Mega. Go to a Sludge Bomb. Doesn't do a whole lot. A poison my Audino, sadly. But unfortunately, I do have Heal Bell on Audino, so I should be okay. Um, he's going to go for Knockoff. He now knows I have a Mega Stone because nothing was knocked off by Audino, and I do go for Heal Bell. So, Scyther is awake. Audino is poison. I'm going to go into Hell Kaiser the Pyroar. And my opponent is going to go after the Unnerve hit for Leech Seed. <laughs> um, Hell Cards of the Pyro with, um, avoids it. Goes into Clefairy here as my Pyro does go for Flamethrower. And that's actually going to be a 2 hit KO, even with the Evil Light and Clefairy because of the choice specs. And that's going to knock it out. Um, next up will come Wappy the Cell. And I'm figuring if he's keep it, switching out against the um, Pyro, then it must be um, Scar. So I'm going to switch it at Lumineon here. As my opponent does go for a Retaliate. And that does a shitload of damage, knocking my Lumineon down to very low health. And gets hit leftovers. I'm going to go for a toss in case he switches into um, Tangela, but no he does not, so he goes for a second Retaliate, and that will knock it out. So all he's doing is using Retaliate, I'm, I'm kind of wondering if he actually is Scarf, which I assumed before. So I do go for Am I Bugging the Scyther, he's going to withdraw his Stalin, and he's going to go into Iris the Emolga, so I do go for a new turn, I get Switch Initiative here, it does about 20% give or take, and Scyther is going to go back to my party, and out comes Price the Piloswine. He's gonna withdraw his Emolga and go into his Dunsparce. And I do set rocks here. But hopefully he can chip damage to his Emolga and such. He goes to Rock Slide. My Palace my voice. I do go for the Ice Gold Crash. Now Dunsparce can be really um, annoying with his Serene Grace and Glare to paralyze stuff, especially ground types. But he's gonna have flinch on my um, Palace Wine. It's not doing much damage at all because um, I deal the Evil Light on the Palace Wine. And. Uh, and I do go for Ice Shard here, go to a Rock Slide, which is not going to do much damage. I'm going for a second Ice Shard and that will knock out the Dunsparce at this range. But as I was mentioning before, Rock Slide did not do a whole lot because of the Evil Light and Pilot Swine, it's only hitting it neutrally. 
He goes into Jupiter the Perugly. I'm gonna switch on going to Am I Bugging you the Scyther as my opponent does go for a fake out. Um, he's gonna go for a last resort on the Scyther, which does a decent amount of damage. I do go for the U turn, which does a decent amount of damage to Jupiter the Perugly itself. Scyther goes back to my party. Out comes Price to Pile of Swine. And I'm gonna go for an Ice Shard here and hopefully take it out. And lose uh, 2 HP, sadly. Most of the um, last resort. Shots down to red, and a second ice shard will take it out. So now Perugly is down. Next up will come Wappy the Stoutland. After it takes rocks damage, I'm going to try a Pilot Swine. I guess he uses Death Arlet and go to Audino to maybe tank a hit. My opponent does go for the facade, but he does have Toxic on the, um, his Stoutland because of my Lumineon, which is very interesting. I've put two um, stab moves, stab normal type moves on Stoutland, but the saw is probably there in case. I got a status off on it. I go for Am I Bugging the Scyther. We're gonna find out this thing is um, Scarf or not. It is not Scarf. And U turn will all, not really knock it out, actually. But I do go out and go into Price Palace on use its Death Fodder. And Palace One is down. So after Wappy takes some damage, I'm gonna go back into Am I Bugging the um, Scyther. I'm gonna go for a U turn here. I'm gonna knock out the um, Stellan. And I'll take it out. And Scyther will go back to my party. Out comes Hellkaiser the Pyroar. Right. Gets the nerve off, not that it really matters. And out comes Iris the Emolga to take chip damage from rocks. Iris is scarfed. Go you know, for Thunderbolt. It does not paralyze my Pyroar, fortunately. Scyther will take it out because I am Specs. And next out will come Ramen Jr. the Tangela. It's a rock damage. And a choice by Scyther will knock it out. And that'll be GG. It was a very interesting battle, I do have to say so myself, as he did bring a PU team against my NU team. Although I do believe I had like at least one or two PU mods on my team, being Raichu and something else, like Lumineon. So, overall, it was not a bad battle. It did result in a 3-0 win for me, and my opponent did play it pretty good. The Dunsparce could have gotten really annoying point for like Coil and Glare and such. Unfortunately, he did not have that set, or at least didn't use those moves on it. But either way, Good game, Kurt. Thank you so much about. And guys, leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you want to see more fantastic Wi-Fi Bell action? And I'll catch you on the flip side. And remember, stay salty, Rage Queers. Stay salty. Woo!